Hi, hi friends. Welcome to Docker file creation course video series presented by Narendra from Do It Python Technology. So in this video, we are going to see very basic introduction about your Docker file. Okay, actually, what is Docker file? Something we will see. Okay, anyway, let me start that. See Docker file. See before going to this, you should know what is Docker image or images and Docker containers. See, in order to create container, we should have image, right? The running status of an image or the instance of an image is called container, right? Now, in order to create containers, you should have some images. Now, in order to create image by yourself, suppose if you want to create some image other than so generally in order to get some image you are going to uh, hub.docker.com website there you are going to select some images based on your requirement right so instead of that with some minimum knowledge with some basic images if you want to create some advanced images how you can create by yourself so now you can create your required images by writing docker file and after writing docker file if you execute that with the help of your docker then you will create you able to you can able to create your own required images okay so simply first of all observe here docker file so generally file is a like a text file right or simply a text file nothing but some here we are going to create a docker file it is basically a text file it consists of some coding techniques that's why it is called a script so a docker file is a script that contains collections of commands and instructions okay that will be automatically executed in sequence in the docker environment for building a new docker image nothing is there docker file is nothing but a like a simple shell script or python script or some bash script or powershell script but it consists of some commands that commands are related with your docker right so that by executing that script you can able to create your own docker image that's it nothing is there okay okay in order to create your docker image for any task right first of all you should know what are the manual steps in order to achieve your task then only you can able to write then only you would write your docker file to create your docker image suppose see uh, yeah we will take one simple example let me go that suppose if you want to create a docker file okay so simple docker file to create apache docker image see before going to create your docker image for apache you should have some minimum knowledge you see that is where you can run your apache basically on top of any operating system right so on the top of any operating system you can run your apache so that knowledge you should know then only you can able to create this apache docker image right so in general we know that to run apache web server we need operating system that may be uh, ubuntu uh, cent os right or windows operating system whatever it may be it's required minimum any one of the operating system then on the top of operating system we have to deploy apache now so instead of uh, uh, repeatedly installing first i mean installing the os container first then on the top of that instead of installing your required apache web server if you create some image that consists of your some simple os yeah, that that to uh, your docker related ways okay simple ways and then in that it, it should have uh, apache as well so that it will be useful at a time you can able to create your ways along with required ways along with your required apache right so for that you are going to create an image so for that you have to write first your docker file right so now how to create a docker image so by writing simply a docker file okay so we will go with the hands on 
let me open uh, my OS. So this is my Windows, sorry, original server. So here I'm having, yes, Docker. And let me know the status of that, whether it is running or not. Yes, it is running. Then only you are going to get, suppose, something like client, right? So suppose system, CTL, status, Docker. Yes, it's running, active and running. And uh, let me, Yeah, first of all, let me check. Is there any containers? Yes, some containers are there. Let me check all containers. Guys, if you observe here, I'm having one of the command docker uh, ps a along with the q. Then observe that what you are going to get. The only container IDs you are going to get. Now I want to delete all running and history of my containers. So how you can remove? So docker remove rm command. So I want to delete all. So docker ps a q. In case if they are running iPhone iPhone force. Yes, all are deleted. Now if you want to check docker ps, no docker ps a history as well. No containers. Yeah, okay. Now guys, whenever if you want to create a Docker file to create your required Docker image, you should write first Docker file. Okay. So anyway, based on your requirement, uh, whatever the image you are going to create with that name, first create some directory anywhere in your operating system. Let me go to OPT. Okay. Yeah, okay. I will create some one directory. Okay, let me make directory demo Apache image. So uh, let me move into that. So as of now, I don't have anything here. Let me create a very simple Docker file. Okay, Docker file. Guys, you have to follow the file name as docker file only in that D is capital. Okay, you can also use some different notation for your file, but this is the best practice only. So let me take file name as docker file. Just to follow this. So whenever if you want to create some images, right, first create some directory, then move into that directory. Then there just to create a file called docker file. Okay, now see guys, Anyway, actually, before going to write your Docker file, you should know some commands. But here, as of now, I'm not going to discuss any command. First, I will write a some script. And in my next video, I will give some simple commands. After that, I will give advanced commands while uh, writing your Docker file. Like syntaxes or statements or instructions for your Docker file. Okay, guys. Here, I told you that in order to create your Apache image, right? First of all, you should have some OS. On the top of OS only, you can able to run your Apache. So that's why, from where you have to start. So by starting itself, you should have some operating system. So that's why very first command is always from. So from what you are going to start? So what is the base required thing to create your image? So I want to create my uh, Apache image, but I can run my apache on any of operating system so that's why i need to start my docker file with any one of operating system nothing is there whenever you are going to create some image uh, i mean whenever you are going to write some docker file so that is for some images right only to create some images so finally in order to work with your image whatever the concept you are going to take for that image what is the minimum starting base required thing that you have to write the, with that concept, you have to start with your Docker file. Now, I told that, right? So if it is some Apache, you can able to run, you can able to work with this Apache by deploying on the top of any operating system. Now, I am going to create this image. So what is my first concept, first required base? Any OS. So that's why I need to start with the OS. That OS, you may take anything. So from, I am going to take, suppose, Send to OS. You can also take Ubuntu. Send to OS. And in that, if you are having, see, if you go and open official website, 
there in send to is you are having different tags right so latest one or some versions right so i am going to take only send to if or by default we go to latest otherwise you can also give the tag name so i am going to take latest okay then after that right so because of that you are going to get your image operating system image now on the top of operating system image right actually you have to install your apache in case if you are having operating system on the top of operating system how can you install your apache right so we know that <clears throat> suppose if you are having some operating if you are there on any operating system let me take that operating system is linux so how you can install your apache so first you have to update your system in case uh, i need to update your repos after that so in order to update your operating system what is the command observe that m simply update right m update i am giving confirmation by okay then after that you will install your apache by by passing command as m install http guys but here you are not on your operating system right so these two commands you have to run on the top of this send to as image right so in order to run any command on operating system that is a image if that is a image right then you have to use command as like this same command is like this only but docker file command is run space your required command i think is there guys in case if you are having some operating system or otherwise if you are on the operating system currently if you are on some operating system how you can install your apache simply m install httpd right and for confirmation hyphen y but here this is a docker file and you have to run these two commands on the top of your sent to as image now for that syntax is run with the help of run you have to run your command from the top of image see once if you run this script first it will consider sent to as image on sent to as image because of this run command this command will be run on this top of this that's it now let me save this guys here i am not going to write complete uh, i am not going to use all commands just for understanding purpose just i am taking very simple commands from and run so from what is your base required thing to create your image then run after taking base image after taking base thing what you have to work out with that so i have to take send to as image and on the top of that i need to install my apache so for that on the top of your base i have to run these two commands so how can i run yes your commands however you are going to use your command the same commands the way how you are going to work out with your operating system same commands but you have to run these two commands on top of your operating system through docker that's why you have to use a run command run that means it will run this command on the top of your operating system that's it sorry now i am going to save it yes now we are having this as our docker file right then how you can create your required image so before going to run the uh, create image let me check what are the images are there on my host sorry docker images see these are all my images right now <clears throat> let me build my image so for that command is docker build hyphen t is nothing for for tag suppose and now i am going to create or today i am going to create one image but tomorrow for that same image i want to create one more version or next day i want to create one more version so in that case it's better to use tag otherwise it will always point out to latest right so now i am suppose i am taking httpd or my let me take send httpd on send to as httpd server colon 1.0 version that's it so where your docker file is there on current location that's why you dot that's it now observe that your image created image is in this name docker httpd 1.0 now let me check that docker images right where it is this one right 
is there? Yes. Now, let's suppose I am going to run my Docker. Okay, first of all, Docker images. Now, this is our image ID. Just now we created this. Let me copy that. Now, Docker run in attached mode. Sorry. <clears throat> Docker run integrated with integrate integrated with your uh, created Docker in, uh, container. So it. So I am going to provide some name for that. So my send os Apache. That's it. Then I want to run with this id. So guys, just now we created image, right? I am trying to run that image with then bash terminal yes now you entered into that so now check it whether it is there or not find root hyphen i name httpd yes it is there that's okay. it simple okay that's it guys so docker ps is sent to a support it is running right my my sent to a support it is running and in that you are having right your uh, apache http is there that's it so this is a simple way to create your docker file anyway it is not much useful in real time but it is just to you to get some idea how we are going to create an image with the help of docker file and basically what is the docker file so simply docker file is used to create docker image so in order to write docker file you should know some commands required for your docker file of your docker right so as of now i used only from and run so whenever if you are going to create some image right from for that image what is the base with that base you have to start your docker file and you have to take that base with the help of from command from so on the top of that, in case if you want to run any command, so command it may be Linux command or Unix command or uh, AX command or even Windows command. So on top of base, see, let me explain once again because it's very important. Suppose this is it's our required base OS suppose. So on this base, I need to run this command because that is the Linux. So I need to run Linux command. So through Docker file, how you can run using run command. That's it. Okay. Okay guys, uh, this is very simple description about your Docker file and how to create a image using Docker file. Okay, in my next video, I will discuss uh, some basic commands of your Docker. Okay, okay, thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel so that you will notify whenever we post some new videos. If you have any queries, you can also post as comments on the below of this video, or you can also post your queries to this do with python.gmail.com okay bye